Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Arrowverse. We've got some interesting news that we need to break down and talk about. This came out a few days ago, but now we're going to be fully getting into this because this news is very important for the future of the Arrowverse. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so just four days ago, it was announced that the CW is not going to be going ahead with many more shows. They announced, I believe, in total seven shows at the CW would be cancelled and not be going ahead and getting a proper conclusion to their stories. This obviously comes right after Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman's announcement of them being cancelled just about maybe like a month ago now, or probably three weeks ago. And so with that in mind, we were speculating, oh, what's going to be next? Because now they've set the precedent for the CW cancelling shows. And you have to remember in the past, the CW barely ever cancels shows. They end shows. Like when the cast and kind of creatives are like ready to move on, that's when they end them. They don't normally cancel them. They're not really a cancellation network. That's just not usually how they roll, especially since Mark Pedowitz has been involved. However, with the CW being up for sale, it seems that they're taking a different kind of approach. And this approach apparently has been quite harsh behind the scenes with the people in charge of the network and the people trying to sell the network are very much pushing for this change and you can definitely see there is a big change happening. And that change comes in the form of new content, like for instance, they just announced officially Gotham Knights is going to be picked up for a whole series run, that means at least one season. I don't know if we're going to be getting like two or three seasons, again that's a big if because, as I said, this precedent sets a big question mark above new shows, even Arrowverse shows, which seemingly in the past were pretty safe to get new seasons despite their ratings, like it doesn't matter how many sort of viewers they got every week because if they were an Arrowverse show, they had value and that's just the way that the network kind of perceived them. And it's even mentioned in this article that Mark Pedowitz, you know, he actually, if it was up to him, and it's not completely up to him because this was definitely a business decision on behalf of like the CW, he apparently would have kept on Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman and he was vying for that. However, the people who have more power than him and have the power of money basically said, no, look, we can't do Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman because they're not bringing us back enough money or even enough attention for their liking. And obviously they're paying for the studio space all year round and it's very expensive and the shows in general are quite expensive. And so they just pulled the plug, I guess. And the same just happened to this show. And this show is, of course, Ava DuVernay's Naomi. Now, this show literally just premiered, like, earlier this year. I think it premiered in January with Season 1, Episode 1. And since then, although it hasn't been a very, very popular show, people have liked it. However, the big thing, and I think the thing that put the nail in the coffin was its ratings and, you know, the fact that it had barely any social media following online. Like, every week when Naomi would air, there would be a couple people tweeting, but generally never normally trending or anything like that, and that's something that the CW wants to see. They want to get like Flash level or Riverdale level kind of attention online, or they want to get really good ratings and very consistent ratings, and you can look at something like Superman Lois, which is pretty damn consistent and seemingly makes them money because they are sticking with that show, and so, you know, that is a big shame. However, this is not unexpected at all, because everyone said if any Arrowverse show is going to be cancelled or ending because of financial reasons or otherwise, it would be Naomi, and that's because it's just not performing very well, and I don't think people have connected to the series like they have to other series in the past. And so, this is the third Arrowverse cancellation. Even though this hasn't been confirmed to be a part of the Arrowverse, we were presumed it was, maybe on another Earth, because Naomi is linked to the Arrowverse. However, we never got that crossover, and it's very possible we will never have that crossover, so that's not really going to be very much so linked to the Arrowverse. 
but it is an Arrowverse show because that's what it was teased as. And so basically they're not coming back for a season two because the CW has not picked them up. And the way that they end the show in season one, that's the way that they end the whole series. Like there is nothing more that we're going to see. And so this is actually kind of surprising only because it's run by Ava DuVernay, who is like a pretty big Hollywood filmmaker and is run by her production company and Warner Brothers TV. And so you can presume it's not her and it's not her production company. Could it be someone at Warner Brothers? It's very likely, but probably more likely than not, it is a financial decision made by the CW and whoever is controlling budgets and whoever is controlling the future of the company has been like, okay, we've analysed Naomi and this is just not good enough for what we want in the future and I think that is the harsh reality of it and yes, it's a fact that Naomi has suffered from, you know, kind of breaks every once in a while and basically people not tuning in every week and people watching kind of periodically and also now because of the sale of the CW it seems that they've just come in at the wrong time. I reckon if Naomi aired a couple of years ago maybe they could have got like a season two or a season three because Mark Pedowitz and you know that kind of earlier regime was definitely into creating a whole new universe despite the ratings, despite all of this. Obviously at the start of the Arrowverse, the ratings were very good with Arrow and The Flash and eventually Supergirl leading into the other shows, but as you go on, you do get less and that's just a fact. So now the Arrowverse is down three shows, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and now Naomi. The big question is what happens next with the Arrowverse and what other show could be on the chopping block? Well, the only other show right now that we have that hasn't been confirmed is Stargirl. And people have been saying and journalists have been reporting there has been no news in regards to that because of the fact that they haven't aired their new season and they're just waiting for that to see how it does and then they will announce are we going to be going ahead with Stargirl or are we not going to do that? Because Stargirl is a bit different because it has that kind of relationship between HBO Max and the CW so it means it's a viable property for Warner Brothers as well. And you have to remember, even though Warner Brothers TV controls part of the production of these shows, not anymore really. They're going to have like a minority stake in the say in what the CW is. But if Nexar buys the CW, they're going to be in charge of what content they want. And Warner Brothers is just going to be the producer. They're just going to be, you know, making the shows for say a next star control CW and so that's obviously not what they want and they think oh maybe this is going to be more kind of appealing for next star saying oh look we've got rid of our shows that weren't performing well and now we're going to go for shows that we think will perform well like they obviously think Gotham Knights they think you know the Walker spin-off that they picked up so that is the current reality for the Arrowverse and I think it's actually a shame like personally thinking and personally saying, you know, the Arrowverse is all about creating these worlds and taking these risks, but by, you know, shutting down these risks and basically putting the big question mark above all of these new shows, it just kind of makes everything around it suffer. I think the quality could suffer, especially as every show goes toward the end of the season. They're going to have to now think, oh, is this going to be our final season? How can we kind of wrap this up? but also leave an opportunity for more in the future rather than ending on a complete cliffhanger because so many of these shows like Naomi, like Legends, like Batwoon are not going to get proper endings because they've been cancelled and that is obviously a big difference from ending a show like Supergirl or Black Lightning or Arrow where they've been able to choose their ending because they know exactly when the show is ending they've come to some sort of mutual agreement and that is how they end the show, but that's not the case for Naomi, Batwoman, and Legends, along with a lot of other CW shows which they simultaneously cancelled the other day when they announced that Naomi was also coming to an end. So yeah, the Arrow vs. Future does look a little bit bleak, but at least we have the official confirmation that Gotham Knights is going ahead for its first season. Still no word on Justice U and we don't know about any other future Arrowverse shows and whether they will continue. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. 
subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos also you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.